Okay, we're working on my 2007 PT Cruiser. We're going to be uh, replacing this upper torsion mount. We've got the replacement here. That's what this looks like. Depending on the location of your AC line, some of them are a little more difficult to wiggle out of there than others. We're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to need a 15 millimeter and an 18 and a little bit of an extension here okay so we're gonna get on this 18 right here first so sometimes these lines could be in the way depending on your car these here are pretty much pushed over out of the way so i've got um, an 18 extension and we're going to go ahead and just loosen that one up they'll be pretty tight you may need a breaker bar to get this loose we're just going to completely remove this and this mount here in particular you really it's hard to see the condition of it because of where it's located and you just almost can bet that if you've got over a hundred thousand miles that this is in bad shape I'm gonna go ahead and get this bolt out and we'll get on those other two okay so just taking this and this uh, Let's go ahead and wiggle this bolt out. I've got it loose, but it's still hanging on to something there. That's what that bolt looks like. And now we got to get on these two 15s that are right here. So these will be pretty tight. You may need to have a cheater pipe to get these loose, but once you get them broke loose, they're really easy. but they're going to be pretty pretty tight so we're going to go ahead and remove both of these and if you need to get you a magnet so you don't drop these those magnets are really cheap and, and really handy to have around so we're going to go ahead and completely remove these two bolts and go ahead and pull them out with a magnet Okay, here's these two bolts, the 15s. We got those out of there. Now, like I said, depending on yours, you usually can wiggle these out. Uh, I like to flip it down like this and just try to wiggle it right up through here. Some are different because some of those AC lines are more over. And we can already see that this part is, we couldn't tell it down there, but it's falling completely out so that's not good the motor can move around quite a bit so we'll go ahead and uh, get our other one over here um, we need to also remove this 18 millimeter bolt here so we'll go ahead and and get on that I'm gonna use the impact to get it loose so if you don't you'll have to You'll have to get this thing held still uh, in a vise probably or or something. Figure out something to hold this steel while you're plucking that loose. Okay, so we're putting the new one on to this first. Notice the difference there. It's got a little indentation and a machine side. That's going to go towards this. You'll notice this end doesn't stick out this end does just so you don't get confused and put it on backwards uh, it's not a bad idea to use some Loctite some medium Loctite if you want we're just going to go through here and we're just going to go ahead and lift that up and fasten that on to this right here and we'll get it really tight and then we'll work her back down into the car okay so we got that tightened up and you'll notice if you look at the back here you can see how this right here sets against that flat spot that's machined there so it keeps it nice and straight so it should look like that so now we're ready to go ahead and just work it over into the car here okay so we're just going to go right back down just the way we came out of here we're going to get over here and just wiggle it right 
back down under here and then once we get it under here then we'll go about flipping it around and getting it into position there's not a lot of room but if you just watch what you're doing it's it's uh it'll go in without too much difficulty but I'm gonna need my other hand at this point but I'm just gonna work it up on here and slide this end up and get it back up onto this ledge here well there we go we pretty much have it over here we just need to push it over a little more okay one thing to note when putting this in nothing is ever perfect you know the engine shifts and stuff when you take the old one out this front part of this will try to cock up a little bit when you go to putting your bolt in uh, you can take a screwdriver or something just push down on it it will push down easily you see that give um, but the main thing is these bolts will try to follow the holes on this bracket and if you're not careful they will try to cross thread I had a situation like that before so the main thing is just make sure you don't get those two 15 millimeters cross threaded because then it's going to be a nightmare and you'll be having to to re-tap the threads and possibly replace this front cover so be cautious of that it's it's easy to do uh, not so easy with bigger bolts like this 18 but with smaller bolts like that it's easy to get them across this so start this one here if it's or whichever way it's tilted flatten it out and just make sure you don't get those cross threads so i'm putting the 15s in first and then we'll worry about the the big 18 back here now don't just tighten these yet leave them just slightly loose uh, you'll take now according to which way your hole needs to line take a screwdriver in here I had to pry it a little bit this way and now you can see that it's lined up. That's all I had to do is take the screwdriver and just pull this over just a little bit and it lined right up without even having to move the engine or anything. So it's pretty much into alignment. So we're just going to work this 18 down in here and once we get it run all the way down there we'll go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, I've got my big extended handle ratchet, and we're just going to go ahead and or snug these down really good. I'll get that good and tight. We'll just get over here on these 15s now. Okay, so we just got those tightened down, so we're all finished up with this mount here, and we'll take it and test it out down the road. And so here's another view of this mount and so a lot of times these will do this and yours may not be this bad but you can't even tell from just looking at it whether it's good or bad because you can't see that down in there but this thing is just totally totally gone so you don't want that happening um, this is a torsion mount however it does help to hold that engine into place and uh, keeps a lot of twisting and if sometimes uh, said these uh, main engine mounts will go so you lose the main engine mount which is there in the middle and then you lose this and your bad your bottom ones in bad shape and then you've got nothing so uh, anyways that's going to conclude this video I uh, hope you found it helpful uh, it's really a simple job replacing this upper mount um, if you found it helpful please give the video a like as always, I invite you to subscribe and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching.